Hey, what's up guys? Josh here, and welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. Okay, so today it's going to be maybe a little bit quicker, or a little bit longer than it usually will be. But today we're actually going to learn how to make a manipulation scenery, a basic one, okay? This isn't going to be really advanced or anything, it's just only going to take a few minutes. So, uh, first thing that we need to do is we're just going to go to open, and then we're going to go to the certain wallpaper that you would like. So this is going to be the starting scene, this is going to be where like it, you're going to use the most of it. Alright, so in this one I'm going to use a wallpaper that I've used in my one of my last tutorials. It's the one where it's advanced shadows. That's I use this wallpaper. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to unlock it. And then what you're going to do is just go to filter, go to render, and then go to lighting effects. Now this is how I, if you, um, and one, if you've seen my, I think it was my latest tutorial, yes, uh, you'll know what this is exactly. Um, it's just a really quick way to shadow everything, um, and it's pretty advanced. For manipulators, it skips a lot of steps and it makes your work look a lot cleaner and a lot, a lot better. So um, we're gonna, you should play around with this. It should start off like this, and then maybe a little bit wider. So it should start off like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this square, uh, on this uh, yeah, square right here, and make it decently thin. And then where the line is, you're gonna make it go up to the main, like the main attraction of your picture. So my main attraction of this picture is the waterfall right here. So I'm gonna make it where the light's coming up to the waterfall, and then there's the there's more of less light around the other places like the lake and the mountain sides and everything else. So once you do that and you have it uh, how you want, you're just gonna push OK. And then just give it a few seconds and it should start, it should look like this. So most of the light is up um, by the waterfall and then less around the sides. Okay, so we're just going to quickly go to gradient map and then make sure that it's the darker side to the left. And then what I'm going to do is actually go all the way black and then make sure that this is all the way white. Yep. Alright, so I'm just going to do that. This is a very simple uh, CC that makes it look very nice. And then you go to overlay. Now this is all a matter of opinion. Okay, so I'm probably going to do soft light. And then I'm going to bring down the opacity just a tiny bit. Okay. Alright, so I'm probably going to bring it back down to 75. Okay, so now it's looking really nice and you can... Um, and you can start working however you would like if you want to skip from here but um, I'm just gonna show you one quick thing that I think looks very nice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the layer and then we're gonna go to filter and then you're gonna go to you're gonna go to let me just find it real quick you're gonna go to distort and then you're gonna go to diffuse glow okay so this is another quick thing that I really enjoy uh, seeing it makes it look really nice and a lot quicker all right so as you can see it doesn't look too great but uh, you have to f uh, fiddle around with these settings right here now the graininess in this situation I would not touch um, it just it's really just useless in this sort of manipulation so glow amount I am probably gonna put to 20 and then the clear amount I'm gonna put it up a bit to so if you the lower the clear amount pretty much the wider it is and the more glow it is so you can fiddle around with it to your liking I'm probably gonna put it to probably gonna put it very low so it doesn't look too because uh, manipulation needs to look realistic so I'm gonna put it pretty high so it doesn't look too like non realistic so you can fiddle around with this just to your liking so I'll probably put it around I'll probably put it around 12 and then just push OK and then I start should start looking like that now again guys if you don't like it uh, just do control Z and then just go back in and just fiddle around with the settings even more alright guys well this is a quick quick way on to make a manipulation setting um, it's very basic I know um, I might do more uh, in-depth uh, tutorials on how to make mo um, more advanced manipulation settings 
But for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you guys did, uh, please do leave a like and a comment. And if you guys, if you want to learn more about uh, Photoshop, Cinema 4D, and Adobe After Effects, then please do subscribe. Thanks, guys, and have a good day.